Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable dynamic text to basically improve the accessibility of your app. So what we're going to do, first of all, is to head over to our main.storyboard. And right here, we're going to design something very simple. So just hold down Command, Shift, and L. And then just drag in a label right here. Okay? I'm going to call this email. And I'm going to drag a text field as well, like this and expand this like that then i'm going to hold down option and then duplicate this and this is going to be password right so now i'm going to run this to um, our app and let's see exactly what we have so here we have some text and um, the text field didn't go to the end because we don't have any constraints but we're going to address that later on but for the main reason in the, uh, for this video we're going to go straight to our settings app and when you click on settings and then um, accessibility and um, display text size, larger text. And if we choose a text size, you can see that it actually grows or shrinks. And to make it very obvious, we can go ahead and click on this one. And if you go back and just move through your app, you're gonna see that the text size has changed. And what we want to do is to make sure that our app's text size as well has changed. So how exactly can we do that? So what we can do is go ahead and click on your um, label and we're going to go to the uh, property inspector and in the font section, we want to choose one of these um, font styles or text styles. So we can go ahead and choose like subhead, for example, and you can see that the size changed just a little bit. And now if we go ahead and run the app, we would notice that now the text actually changed, but we cannot see this. So what we're going to do is, or actually before then, let's go ahead and reduce it so that it's a little bit more visible. So I'm going to choose something a little bit smaller. And if I go back to the app, nothing happens. But if I relaunch the app, we will see that it actually changed. So the text grew but we had to relaunch the app so, so that we could see the change. So one way that we can do this so that we don't have to always relaunch our app to see um, changes is to click on the label and then enable automatic adjust fonts, all right? So now if we go ahead and rerun this, we would see that the text is the same. And if we go back to our settings and we maybe reduce it like this, and go back to the app, it became smaller. We go back to settings, where is settings? And we make it very tiny. We go back like that, right? So now it is responding to the changes automatically. So we can do the same thing for password by just going ahead and selecting one of these options. So you can choose password like that. And if we check, where's that again? Click on this automatically adjust, run this again, um, you would see that now password is going to use the same um, text size as email. All right. Now we don't always want to go to the settings app to make these changes. So what we can do is to actually test with Xcode. So when you run your app and you have um, like it is in debug mode, so it's connected to Xcode, Right at the bottom here, you can see we, uh, we have this icon and you can change or override certain um, configurations. So for example, like appearance, you can change it from light to dark mode like that, or you could, um, which in our case we wanna do is to enable dynamic type. And you can see that now by changing the values, we see them reflected in the app, right? Now, um, this works, dynamic text is enabled, but the app doesn't look good. It doesn't respond to these changes. So the next thing we want to do is to correct the layout of our app um, using auto layouts. So what we can do first of all is to add certain constraints to certain um, you know uh, elements on the page. So here we want to add top left, and I think that should do it. But certain people may add height and width. And I'm actually going to add it here just so that you can see what the danger is if you do something like this. So we've added that. We will also want to add to the text field 
So we go top, left, right. And if you don't understand how constraints work, you can just definitely go ahead and check my video on auto layouts. It's going to be really helpful. I go ahead to explain, um, uh, you know, like constraints and how you can easily understand. So anyhow, we want to do the same thing to password, but this time I'm not going to add the um, width and the height constraint. And finally, I'm going to add to this one. So this, this, this. Okay. So now that we've added the constraints, let's go ahead and run this again. And let's see what we have exactly. So now we have this with the default um, size, we can go ahead, click on this one, and enable this. And now you can see that um, the the uh, password label responds properly. So it has enough room to grow. And um, then it just continues to grow up until the max. So I know like in certain um, styles or designs of your screen, you may still need to have some uh, trailing constraints, but you just have to be aware of exactly what you're doing. But what I really wanted to point out, which is a mistake that many people make, is that they add certain um, fixed limitations to things like labels, um, especially where they say, okay, this is the text that is going to be on this label. I don't expect the text to change. I don't expect the size or whatever to change. And then they give it fixed width or height. So if you do something like that, you could expect that there, um, this kind of bug would happen. So what you want to do is to treat it or just give it flexibility. Let auto layouts just do its work. So here we definitely don't want to have a height constraint and we don't want to have a width as well. And if we run this again, you would see that it would respond like the password field. And if someone were to increase the text size, they would be able to just choose whatever font, uh, like whatever text size that they want. And this is good. So um, uh, the last thing I want to show you is because now I showed you how to enable this um, with UI. What I want to do very quickly is to show you how we can do this exact same thing with code. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these back. So I'm going to turn off the automatic one. And then I'm going to change this back to system. Let's do system. And we're going to do the same thing here. Great. So if we run this, and we try to um, play around with the dynamic text, I always look for this thing click on this. So it doesn't work anymore, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a reference uh, um, to both of these. So open up your assistant editor. And then where are you? Good. So hold down control, click and drag this here. I'm going to call this email label. And we're going to do the same thing to password. So awesome. Now we have these connected. What we want to do is go to our view controller. And what we're going to do first of all is we are going to set the font because you already saw that to enable dynamic text, you need to set the font to be something that is dynamic text enabled. So like the title, title one, two, three, and all those things. So we need to set the font. And then if we want it to respond automatically, then we have to enable that um, feature. So for email label, email label, we're just going to need to say dot font, and this is going to be equal to dot preferred font. And for the text, how you can see this is exactly what we had um, in the storyboard. So here again, we can go ahead and choose subheadline, and we can do the same thing for pass label. And now, if we want to make sure that it responds automatically, we're going to need to say email label dot adjust fonts for content size category and just say true. Okay. So we do the same thing to password label. And if we run this, we should see that now we can go ahead and play around with dynamic text and everything works very easily. The last thing I'm going to show you is how exactly we can enable this for a custom font, because that's something that you may be wondering, you want to have custom fonts, can you have the same feature 
for your font? So the answer is yes. So what we can do, of course, is say, um, we can create a constant, say my font, and here we need to create an instance of our font. So font, and we can say name and size. And for the size, you can basically just use whatever you want to be the default size of your um, text. So if you look at the main dot storyboard, this is a default size, right? And this is um, system 15. So what we can do is we can say the size is going to be 15. And what do we want to be the name of the font? So if you go to the main dot storyboard again, and you were to click on one of these, let's go ahead and close this one out. If we're to click on one of that and click on this, go to font, click on custom and family, you're gonna see that we have a couple of options here and you can just choose whatever you want. Let's say for example, we wanna try out, um, which one should we try? I want one that's very obvious. Okay, let's use chalk um, duster. So I'm gonna go to the view controller and the name is I hope I got the spelling. So I wrote chalk. So chalk duster. And um, now what I want to do next is for the font, I'm going to say um, UI font uh, matrix. And this is going to be for a specific text style. And here, this is a text style that we want to use. So we want to say dot sub headline. And then we're going to say this should be scaled or we should scale the font, my font. So it's like saying we want to scale, sorry, we want to scale my custom font using um, this particular text style. So that's what's going to happen. It's going to use my font and then it's going to scale it, grow or reduce it based on this particular text style. So uh, this is complaining. So I'm just going to very bad practice force this one but um, you don't want to do this in production. You want to always make sure that something is safely handled unless you are extremely, extremely sure that it exists. So um, we can go ahead and run this and we should see this custom font for email label. So we run this and you can see right there. And if I go ahead and choose a different size, you would see that it also scales appropriately. Okay, and just a very side note, um, if you don't have this text in, um, like if you can't find it in your app, in, where is that, in the prop, in this place, right, you, you're going to have to add your font to your code base and then add it to your info.plist. So it's a different process, but it's also pretty simple, but it's just so that you're aware that if it's not there, then this is going to crash if the font is not um found. Okay, so um, that's actually it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. Again, just as a reminder, I'm going to be uh, hosting a boot camp on the 5th of June. So if you're interested in learning, because we're going to be building a real time messaging app, if this is something you're interested in doing and add into your portfolio, go ahead and register very quickly. I'm only accepting 10. And I know a couple of people have already registered. So um, if this is something you're interested, just go ahead and register very quickly and um, see you in the next video. Yay!